Hello friends, um, today I am coming to you to uh, do a little uh, breakdown, I guess, of my cigar box ukulele that I just finished building, and I love it. It turned out really well. Um, I was concerned, because it's tricky to get the intonation right, but this one is pretty right on. Um, it's also electric, so I wanted to do, to do a little, wait. okay, we'll do a little open air sound. The strings are still settling, so I thought I'd do a sound sample in the beginning, and then I would kind of go over all the parts that I use to make this, well, to make this one, well, and then, yeah, this one. So it's not super loud, but the tone is good and, and, and the intonation is pretty spot on. Um, <clears throat> the cool little trick with the tuner. A lot of folks know it, but I recently did. So, you can see, okay, so it's on G, and then when you go up to 12, if it still says G, I'll stop talking, okay. See, check it out, what, what, see? Ah. E, look at that, what? <laughs> so, Hooray for little victories, because I really like the way this one turned out. Um, let me turn it up a little bit. This is um, just whatever setting I have my little Marshall amp set to um, for a uh, clean, you know, clean channel. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really think ahead to something appropriate to play <laughs> when I had it on the dirty channel. Anyway, so that's that guy so we will get into the breakdown it is a cigar box I picked this cigar box up on the eBay um, I think it was like 15 bucks you know um, I liked it because it was it was sturdy it's really solid I think the back actually is a pretty thin piece of wood but um, it's very solid and it, it, it you want it to be if you're gonna make a tenor um, I think the rule of thumb is nine inches long at least um, and then it'll give the appropriate um, spacing the full scale I learned on another build I started, I got too small of a box. <laughs> um, anyway, so what I did, uh, I took a, where did that go? I used these little guys from Amazon, they're um, piezo pickups. This part, it's like a little magnet, I think. No, it's not a magnet, I don't even know. I don't really know how to exactly explain what it does, but this part, I stick underneath the bridge. There is a little volume control knob, which because the box was so thick, I was not able to get the actual knob part to work and with the dirty channel or distortion or anything it hums a lot so I need to figure something out um, you know unless you touch it but if you're playing guitar the strings are metal so it stops that hum but ukulele is not like that um, so a little piezo pickup uh, volume control input knob thing I might put a little something well, I don't know just to kind of clean up that hole make it look a little more Neat and tidy. So that's what I have in the uke. Um, these, these are the kind of uh, friction tuners I used. I like them. They look pretty sexy. And they hold tune really, really well, actually. Um, so that's that. <laughs> I get these K-Mice replacement Rosewood Bridge saddle combos. And then I realized I didn't have any more nuts. So I ordered um, some bone nut and saddle, um, I think it's from Amazon or something. So you can, you know, you look around and get replacement parts. Um, I had gotten a few of these actually a couple of years ago. So these are how the necks come. It's the neck and fretboard. And I believe, I want to say it's, it's rosewood, but it's a real dark rosewood, especially on this one. Um, but it, it takes a lot of cleaning up, if you will, because they don't match. So the neck is always going to be fatter. And the frets are typically sharp, so I use these lovely sanding blocks to uh, scrape down the side of the neck, get it all nice and smooth, because I hate sharp frets. Um, 
and then you know you just kind of sand away at the the neck and keep going and check in go and check in um you know just kind of do it repeat do it repeat i picked up this also has a, a lot of um like the really high grit i think it's like six thousand in here so you can get it super super smooth which i did i think i only went up to like 600 on the back um i believe it's mahogany on the back and i used this for the first time which was really neat um it's gunstock oil so it created like a really nice satin finish on the back it looks pretty shiny look and it feels really nice it's not glossy so your hand's not gonna stick when you're playing um so there's that so yeah nut got these guys amazon ebay 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 <laughs> amazon and amazon that's where i got all my stuff and i like to use the tight bond um and for measuring i just use this old sewing tape measure it's pretty easy and you want to be sure to you know clamp everything i like to use these guys um you know i have a few so you can clamp bread you know clamp down the bridge make sure it's absolutely perfect which it ended up being good um and i had to saw off um, a little bit of the end of this to make it flush because it was hanging off so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory i guess i use because <laughs> i don't have a clamp that's big enough to like clamp that whole thing so i use a belt these cinchy kind of belts old school 90s probably cool again i don't know the cinchy belts so I wrap it around and cinch it. Um, and I, you know, clamped it and everything. So I felt like I did a pretty good job this time. I'm pretty excited. I like it. It sounds it sounds pretty good. It's quiet, but it sounds good. And then you plug it in, you can make it loud. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all for watching and checking it out and your encouragement um, through my build process. So I glued this down too. I just noticed a little seam of glue. <laughs> oh well, it's not too messy. And it's for me. So there. Thank you all for watching and I hope you're all staying safe and having a good Memorial Day weekend. It's a holiday weekend. So there's that. Cheers. Thank you.